So welcome. This is, my name is Haley. I'm here with Liberty Burst Soaps. Today we are making another Pringles can soap. This one is a mix of the Pringles can soap and this disc strainer swirl. So come on the adventure with me. In here we have our oils. They're olive oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, avocado oil, and castor oil. That's in here. So I'm going to jump right into this and then I will tell you a little bit about the swirl and the colorants and the fragrance oil as we go. So step one is going to be to add the lye water solution to the oils. So this is a, a much bigger batch than I'm used to. This is two pounds, that's because that's roughly what fits in a regular sized Pringles can. And then I'm going to bring in my stick blender. As you saw from one of my last videos, I do have a new stick blender. This one is a Bella. I bought it at Walmart. Alright, so there is the first pulse. I'm going to bring on in that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my fragrance oil. Now the fragrance oil for this one is Stress Relief by Aztec. I will have to look up what exactly it is in it, but kind of reminds me of hard to say. In my area, it reminds me of like an incense store or like Moon Shadows, which is like a just a store where you can pick up incense and smelly things and all that. So this is Stress Relief. This is a one ounce and this is actually all going to go into my bada here. My raw soap. And just nicely stir it up really well. I don't think I'm going to pulse it because I do want this to be a very fluid soap. And I am going to be adding colorants. So this will all get mixed in really well when we do the colorants. So this soap is going to be a four different colors. The bulk of the soap is going to be oops, purple. It's royal purple. I'll show it to you here in a minute. So move that over. I'm going to bring in my cups to do my colors. So there we have it. So in this red cup, I'm going to be doing black. So there is less black in the soap than anything because I sometimes think that the black overpowers everything else if you use too much of it. So what I'm using for my black, although you cannot see it, this is a Brambleberry Black Oxide. This I have mixed with water because if you don't it might clump up and the clumps are not very nice in your soap because it ends up giving you these nice black streaks. <laughs> so here is the black oxide and the water. So that is just going to go into a cup one. Now the next color here, let me actually going to mix it up a little bit. This here is Celestial Silver Mica. It's a blue, silver, purpley color. I'm not sure how well that's coming off for you guys. So, this is actually, I'm going to make this one my biggest container, which I think you guys can see through my fingers. So that's going to be this. So that's going to actually get tablespoon, or teaspoon, excuse me. So four of these. Right on in there. So that's the celestial silver. So now in the two cups that are here, we are going to do a snowflake sparkle mica. So this is a white, but I'm, this is just a super glittery color there. So I'm going to wipe off my purple. I'm going to give a heaping mound in there to give it a little bit of color. I probably should have mixed up some titanium dioxide to make that one a little white, but we're going to roll with it without the titanium dioxide right now. And then this is going to be that royal purple. So in terms of mixing these up, I am going to start by mixing them up by hand. So this one, abuse the sparkly a white snowflake sparkle it's called. So that just gives that soap this beautiful shimmer. It's not really changing the color of it at the moment, but this will turn 
a beautiful cream color and will show off that sparkle. So there's that. Next is this big one, which we are actually going to pulse with the stick blender. Watch the magic here, everybody. So the best thing to do is to put your stick blender over the mound of mica. Burp your stick blender by getting all the bubbles out from underneath it. And then stir <laughs> stick blender I've been wondering why it's been so powerful it's because I've been stick blending it on two instead of on one I'm just gonna scrape down the sides here so this is just like a beautiful blue it's definitely a silver I see silver but it also has like a green tint to it right now which these oils are a little green which will um, fade as we mix it on up here so there's that one. Now I will do the purple. Here is the purple. This one, I may be able to get a stick blender into it. So I will try. So there's that. Let me grab my spoon here. That is a lovely color. Alright, so the last one I have here is the black. So I think... I can get this stick blender. This is a new stick blender for me, so this fits in these cups. So there we have it. I'm going to do a, have to move you guys up a little bit in order to show you the pouring of this soap. So I will give you an overview of these, and then we'll get to pouring. Alrighty, everybody. So we're actually going to start pouring. This is the setup for this pour. So I got a new strainer here, which is just little holes. And it fits perfectly over the Pringles can. Now this is a 5.5 ounce Pringles can. This is like the standard one. It's cleaned, washed, completely ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set that over this like this. And we are going to start pouring. Now this soap should be fairly liquidy in order to not clog up these little holes. everybody that be the Pringles can soap strainer swirl scented with stress reliever I will put the description put the name in the description or I'll tell you about the scent when I cut it in 24 to 48 hours Everybody. So it has been almost four weeks since I cut this stress relief soap. 
I am here to actually show you what they look like all cured. I had not, or maybe I deleted the scene that I had filmed earlier. But each of these is so different based on how they came poured together and then how they ended up getting swirled together. This is my favorite one. I feel like it just kind of looks like a flower. And this is the tippity top. I feel like in the video I said black sometimes overpowers, and it's just funny because black is in all of these. So these two were cut together here. This was the, the tippity the bottom because I had cut it off. So each very different smells fabulous. Check the description for a link to the scent. Thank you.